Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our concert. Behind me are the wonderful, amazing members of the sixth grade band in the Southeast Local School District. Um, we've worked really, really hard since just the middle of October when we started, which is kind of nuts to think about. These guys only get to see me for one, one meeting a week. So if you do the math, it's only been a handful of weeks. Um, and we're already doing a concert for you. And we're just so excited to do this and show you all the things we've learned about our instruments, about music, and a little bit about concerts. Um, one of the things we, we had to actually talk about in preparation for this concert was how to have a good concert. What are the things you need to do? Um, so, so they know a little bit about what they're doing. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite you, if, if this is a new concert to you, hey, um, to please turn off all noise-making devices. Um, we only want the sounds, beautiful sounds behind me on this stage to be the only ones we, we hear tonight. So um, please silence your phones and anything else that might make sounds. Um, that's good. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna just vamp for a little bit here. Uh, so how's the weather outside? Uh, no. Um, one of the things we learned about in preparation for a concert is how to cue the audience, how to let you know that number one, we're ready to play, and number two, when we're done playing. So when my hands go up, their instruments are gonna go up, and that is your cue to be ready, to be ready, because we're gonna amaze you. And as soon as my hands go down and their instruments go down, that's your cue to go wild, okay? So I, I think they're ready, are they ready? Okay. Consider yourselves learned. All right, um, we're gonna get started in just a moment here. Our first song is called Rain, Rain, Go Away. to mention, um, this is where your students will be sitting for the entire concert, so if you need to find a better spot, now's your chance. Um, and we are also going to stand at the end and give you some picture time at the end, so we also worked on that. So just know if you need a, an opportunity, at the end we're all going to stand and pose for you. did such a good job for your first time audience. That was great. Um, thank you. So far, the students know about five or six notes, and that's, that's actually a lot. Every single instrument on this stage has its own ways of working, different times of the year, different times of our development, different things are going on. Some instruments are like a breeze in the first few weeks. Some instruments are incredibly difficult in the first few weeks, like the flute is like, it's incredibly difficult to start. Um, and then it kind of flips later on. Later on, the clarinet becomes the hardest instrument in the world, and some of the other stuff gets easier. So everyone's going through different things at different times, and we're all getting there together, and it's just a really wonderful process. As always, I appreciate all of your support of music, and I appreciate what you do in motivating your students to get the instrument out of the case and play as much as they can at home, and as much as you can tolerate at home. It's really a great thing. Um, it's just like anything else. The more time they spend doing it, the better they're going to get at it. Um, so 
This next song is a true classic. It's Hot Cross Buns. Here we go. dots and it's called a repeat sign. It means we're going to go back and we're going to do this song again. So we've effectively doubled the length of music at this point in our progression over six weeks. It's a wild timeline here. So this next song, Merrily We Roll Along, it's the same tune as Mary Had a Little Lamb, but it sounds more mysterious if we call it Merrily We Roll Along. Um, and here it is. Before we finish, I want to thank their principals, um, Mr. K, Ms. Mrs. Uh, Snyder, and um, Mrs. Minglich, sorry, just going crazy here on stage. Um, they're also tremendous supporters of what we do. Um, we were able to finally get this, this thing where we do this elementary tour. We like, literally just got it all finished up yesterday. So we're going to do the elementary tours on Friday with the high school kids. We go play for the elementary students. They love it. These kids are going to be there. It's going to be fun. Making music in our community is just the best thing. We, we're just so happy you're, you're here for us. Um, if you have any questions for me or if you want to talk to me at all, um, after this performance, when your students are kind of dismissed out the side door, you can meet them over there again. Um, and uh, where they kind of put their instruments together out there in the hall. Um, if you want to talk to me for a little bit while the choir is getting set up, the high school choir, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, if I don't see you until, um, we will be doing a concert again in the spring, but if I don't see you until then, feel free to reach out to me at any time. If you have any questions about what your students should be doing on their instrument or anything, just let me know. I'm happy to help at any time. So. Our final song for you is our actual, is an actual holiday song. This is Good King Wenceslas. This is actually related to the holiday season. So hope you enjoy it and thank you again.
10 minutes or so. So you can use this time to take pictures if you want, group pictures, individual pictures. It's a nice stage here. Thank you so much. See you in the hall if you'd like to talk to me at all. Thank you.